And we're getting a win today, I swear it. I've lied before, so don't get your hopes up. I'm in the UK or something, I'm freezing. Who's ever did that accent? We've got a bit of a, a lisp on it. I've uh, I listened to uh, Milby before. He's uh, he's kind of who I base this accent off of loosely, and it's mostly the uh, the way that he pronounces the threes, the, the, the threes, the ths, because uh, a lot of people will say three, right? Three, but uh, the people over where Milby lives, and oftentimes a lot of people elsewhere, they pronounce it as free, right? So I've got uh, three of these. Uh, it's not quite an F. It's more of like a three, but it, you know, it's weird to explain. But it's not quite an F. Anyway, I love that accent. It's one of my uh, my favorites to do with the uh, with the free. It's not it's not quite a uh, it's not quite free. It's free. You have to you have to kind of get the the like tightness on it to kind of make it seem like you're you're lisping it, but it's also kind of not a lisp. You know, free. You gotta like do the th three. But, but just pull your tongue back, right? So like three, free. But that, that was just a free. Anyway, it's, uh, you gotta, you gotta have the, the you gotta kind of add in the, the sound of trying to do a TH, but just failing. And it's, it's a very subtle difference, but uh, it makes it, makes it, makes it uh, what it is, you know? And I think it's one of my favorites to do. It's one of my favorites to do personally. I have a lot of accents that I like to do. A lot of voices that I like to, to mess around with. I don't do impressions. A lot of people do impressions, you know. I know uh, North Nine, who I talk about many times, does a Bernie Sanders impression all the time. And uh, I don't, uh, I don't get into the impression stuff. I'm not really good at mimicking other people's voices and stuff. It's not really, uh, it's not really my cup of tea. It's not really what I do. But um, I do like to just kind of uh, change my voice as much as I can, and and and. Uh, See, see what kinds of things I can do with it, and that doesn't necessarily mean that I do uh, impressions, more so just uh, voices, independent voices. I don't want to, I don't know, I don't, I don't really enjoy it. Like, I used to uh, used to get requests when I streamed before, I used to get requests all the time to do, um, so my voice used to be a lot deeper, even towards the start of the series, my voice used to be a lot deeper. It's kind of like rising slowly over time as I um, get more and more... Um, Uh, more and more inclines towards the, the feminine voice. It kind of like rises over time. If you go back and look at the, the older videos, you'll notice that my voice is actually different. And that's partially because I have a better microphone setup. I moved it and I've got it in a more consistent location now. And it's partially just because I'm actually like naturally raising my voice now. Raising the pitch of my voice, rather. Um, so, I don't know. It's, uh... Yeah, it is what it is, right? Um, this cat's back in the game. But I used to, when I streamed before, I'd get lots of requests to do, uh, like, impressions of people. Time's like, uh, there's legs. some Asian dude from, like, Star Trek or Star Wars or something like that who has a very deep voice. He's gay. Does that help? Uh, he's, he's some gay dude. Some some gay Asian dude from, from like, Star Wars or Star Trek or, or something. He has a very deep, sultry voice. Um, got requests to do him a lot. And it is, I'm not good at doing impressions, you know. It's not really, uh, it's not really the thing that I can do. What I can do is have a consistent accent, not necessarily an accurate accent. Because so I don't think that I don't, I don't, I don't really think that this voice is uh, is all too accurate of any locale in uh, in Britain or anywhere else. I don't really think that it's, uh, I don't really think that it's it's too uh, too accurate to be uh, anywhere, but. I do think that it is rather consistent. I do think it's rather consistent. I have the. Uh, it, it's a little bit tricky for me because uh, typically when I do uh, this accent, I actually do the Ts, the Ths, fairly accurately. But I have to make sure that I switch into the the threes and the the, the things and whatnot, and I have to make sure that the uh, the Ths have a, a bit of an F sound. And it's uh, it's rather consistent. It's rather consistent. After it's really actually quite difficult to make sure that I do it on all of them. If I were to go for like uh, not this uh, this this lispy kind of oh geez we're gonna die this early eh? If I were to go for not the the freeze and stuff I'd have like a, a three kind of thing. It's actually a lot more consistent. I have to like you know, switch back and forth right. And uh, for me it's kind of like a switch in my in my uh, my brain sort of. Whereupon I uh, 
I turn the voice on and I turn the voice off and it's kind of what I'm aiming for for uh, for my feminine voice where I can switch the voice on and switch the voice off once I'm more used to it uh, but I think that I'm uh, relatively consistent with it and I don't know if it's from any specific locale in the UK or anywhere but it's uh, it's definitely consistency is not a problem there so uh, but I'm able to do like consistent stuff right I can't necessarily do accurate stuff but consistency, I got it, I got it covered. And, uh, that's why I don't like impressions so much, I just like doing voices. I mean, the thing is, is you got, so you got, there's so many places in the world, you know? Unless you're living there, you're not really gonna know if it's accurate or not. You're gonna be like, oh, where, where's that from? You know? As long as you're consistent, I mean, that's really what matters, right? That's what matters most to me, it could be a lisp, it could be a speech impediment, it could be any number of things, right? It doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be, I mean, people, People always try to do accents, they want to be specifically accurate to the, the stereotypical accent of it, right? But that's not really tr what you need to do. You need to mostly concern yourself, unless you're aiming for a specific locale, like for like a, an acting role or something like that, right? If you're trying to play as an actor who lives in London, you have to you have to nail the London. If you're trying to play a character, rather, who, who lives in London, uh, as an actor, you have to nail that London accent and if they want you to be more posh then you have to land that posh you know kind of uh of accent to it as well but um i hate i hate black forest you have to land that, that posh accent right and uh that's not what i'm doing right i'm just i'm just uh, some random chick sitting in her bedroom recording and doing voices and stuff i don't, I don't have to have uh a specific accent isn't my goal, it's just to have a accent. An accent. It's just to have something to, uh... You know, the goal isn't to make people think I'm from London, but to make people think I'm not from Canada. You know what I mean? It's not about, uh, it's not about the accuracy so much as the consistency at that point, so... And I got consistency. I got consistency in droves. A uh, couple of accents I am working on still to... to oh, jeez. We dodged that? Are you insane? How the heck did I dodge that? Um, a couple of accents I'm working on are... Uh, I've got this kind of like southern accent kind of thing that I'm working on. And I'm not really good at it yet. But I kind of want to work on it and get it somewhere that I'm kind of happy with it. I mean the other thing that you got to kind of worry about with these things is the word choices that you use. Because if you get... You know, if you get the uh, the accent down, but you're not hitting the words that they use in those locales, it's kind of kind of a problem, right? They're not gonna believe that you're from anyway. And the other thing is, when I'm doing that uh, more southern style accent, Southern America kind of, not really Southern America, I guess, but I don't know. It's it's kind of towards a Southern-ish American accent-ish. It's kind of the thing, right? It's not from any specific locale. It's just um, not from Canada. It's not West Coast Canada, right? But uh, when I'm doing that, I kind of slip into British for some reason. My my, my, my British-ish accents. I'm kind of like sitting down here and I'm kind of talking like this. I mean, then it kind of like switches over to English and then I'm kind of like over here now, you know? I don't know. It kind of gets me. It's one that I'm kind of working on at the moment, though. So, got to get to that consistency, you know? You got to get that consistency going. I do like doing voices, though. I like doing all kinds of weird stuff with my voices, do. It's fun. It's fun to, to see what kinds of, uh... What kinds of nonsense you can make with your voice, I think, anyway. I think it's fun. Because you can do all kinds of stuff with your voice, you know? I think the, uh, the omenomatopibia... I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the word for... for like sounds, right? So like, woof is an ominomalabad up here. I do not know how to pronounce it. I could spell it. No, I couldn't. That's a lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not a word that comes up often. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like I know. I know the word. Okay. If you write it to me, I will know what you're talking about. And if I had to tell you what it was, I would be able to Google it, and then Google would autocorrect it to what I want. And I'd be able to be like, aha, look at me, so smart, I know how to spell it. Um, but I don't know how to spell it, dude. But uh, it's the word for, for, for words that are just sounds like fuzz. It is an omnimob here for, for the sound that bees make. I do not know how to pronounce it, I apologize. 
You know what? Onomatopoeia. 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 <laughs> I was close, dude. I was close. Onomatopoeia. I was I wasn't too far off, okay? I know what the word was, okay? I just It's just it escapes me. <laughs> um Those are fun though, right? Those are fun. I know a lot of people do it. There's the uh There's all kinds of people out there who do all kinds of weird noises and stuff. They want to make uh their mouth do all kinds of weirdness. That's uh incredibly impressive to me. But I just I think it's cool how what what uh, what voice can do at times cuz you know, it's just your, it's your talking voice, right? You're, you're talking and stuff, and then all of a sudden you're... You know, it's actually talk about onomatopoeias, okay? So if you got some... Different languages have different ones. I think... Different, uh... Different, different languages have different, uh... Onomatopoeias, right? Because they, they speak differently. They have different sounds in their languages, right? Uh, the only ones that I really know are uh, are a lot of the ones in Japanese and then the ones in English. So, and I th I think that Japanese has some some good onomatopoeias. I think that uh, uh, English has some good onomatopoeias. I think that uh, they both also have some bad ones. So let's let's go through it. Dogs, bark. Totally not an onomatopoeia. It is, but it like. Have you ever heard a dog go bark? No. Woof? Perhaps. Bark? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think that uh, that, that uh, Japanese is one. Wan wan is uh, one is, uh, is is better personally than uh, than bark. I think that uh, woof and wan are pretty pretty similar. I think that uh, bees in uh, in English, you know, the sound of them is uh, is buzz, right? They buzz, right? I think that that one's fine. I think so. Uh, Japan, they have uh, boom, right? And you don't uh, you don't like extend the n, you or the n, you know, you don't you don't extend that. You just you repeat it. So boom, 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 boom. You know, and I think that that's better than buzz. I I I I think it's better. I think it's better. If you're somebody who actually like, like I'm I'm an English speaking person. I, I can't pronounce things in Japanese so well. But if you're somebody who is Japanese and and, and does that, you know, on occasion, because it comes up more for people who live in Japan than people who live in Canada, of course. I think it sounds better, more more accurate than um than buzz. Which is uh, is the Canadian equivalent? Boom, boom. You know, it's. I think it's. Uh, I think it's better. I think so. So it got that like nasally bit to it that uh, I think just makes it sound a little bit more. I don't know, accurate to to what a bee actually sounds like, rather than just the buzz. I don't know. To me, it, to me, it sounds better. But. Uh, uh, Let's see, let's think of some other onomatopoeias. We got, uh, Japan has, uh, Nya, right? Nyan. I don't think that's really good. It's the typical, like, Nyan, right? I don't think that's really good. I really don't. I, I mean, look, it's like the classic onomatopoeia, right? It's like, for, 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 like, Japan, anyway, it's like, the, that's the classic one. Like, that's, that's probably the most known Japanese onomatopoeia, Nyan, right? And it's used everywhere in anime and in games and like you in your non cat and and uh, it's everywhere, right? It's it's very prevalent in in pop culture. I'll be honest with you, I think it's a garbage onomatopoeia. I really do. I think that meow is better. Um I think that uh purr it's, it's garbage. I don't know if I don't know if purr is an onomatopoeia, but uh, I think it is. People, people over here anyway. They roll their R's at the end of it, and they're like, "Oh, she's purring, purr," you know. And I'm like, "It's just it, that." 
the, the puh in it doesn't that doesn't it, it it's not that no <laughs> um i don't know if Jap japan has a uh, an automatic pf for purring or not but uh definitely over here purr is used as an automatic pf um, I don't know if it technically is or not, but it's used as one over here, and I think it's garbage. I think it's garbage. Um, do a lot of cool onomatopoeias, like I said, like, uh, Woof and Wan, and, uh, Boon, and Buzz is, I mean, I'm not saying Buzz is bad. I'm just saying that Boon is better. Okay? I think that, uh, I'm not saying Meow. I'm not saying, actually, no, I am saying that Nyan is bad. I'm saying it's, it's terrible. I don't, I don't get it. Does, it doesn't really sound like uh, a cat meowing to me. Oh, jeez. I thought I had bullets. I don't have bullets. This is uh, a disaster. It's not a disaster any longer. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just... Uh, can we destroy it? No, we can't. Okay, we just got a, a bloat. Bloat's no problem. Okay, final wave. We might, might make it through a, uh, a Hell on Earth Black Forest, finally. Knock that achievement out of the park. For, for, you know, finally. Be really, really nice. We have been here before to wave four, I believe. We have not succeeded yet. Once we get to the boss, I think we should be able to kill the boss fairly simply. I mean, it's just a boss, right? It's not a big deal. Anyway, um... Yeah, those are those are my onomatopoeias. I don't know other ones in other languages, but I, I had like I've heard them before and I've I've looked at them and I've been like, how does that sound like the thing? <laughs> like, I don't know. I guess it's kind of just uh, like the sounds that you have in your in your language. Like uh, the, the thing is, for instance, ours in uh, we're gonna talk about uh, language here just a, a little bit, okay? Ours in uh, in Japanese, right? It's kind of like uh, D or like B. And uh, it's kind of like a, a mix between, I can't do it totally accurately, but I can do it okay. It's kind of a mix between like an R and an L and, and almost like a, a D almost, right? But uh, mostly a mix between like an R and an L. So if you're, if you're native Japanese, if you're, if you're native Japanese speaker, it's not that you can't pronounce an L or an R. Right? It's not that you can't do that. Like, if you if you've learned English, you probably can say like Leo. Right? It's just that your sound for R is is so close to L that you can't necessarily like this. The sound that you have for it is like a mix between them and, and so close to both of them that when you're reading text or like hearing text, even like if you're reading text, you'll probably be able to read it just fine. Like, if you read, like, um, you know, like, I don't know, Red Lobster or something like that, right? Um, you, you'll probably be able to read it and be like, that's Red Lobster. And you'll be able to, to, to read it just fine because you can see what the letters are, right? And uh, you're not dumb. You just you just have a, a different language and different sounds and stuff that, that your language has. Um, but if somebody says Red Lobster to you, the, the difference between the R and the L is so minute to a, to a native Japanese speaker um, that they, they wouldn't actually know which one was being used necessarily um, and they wouldn't know which one they were supposed to use so they might say Red Robster right? because they know that lead isn't it's not lead you look at it and you're like lead no red yes and then you got Red Robster, right? And that's that's why it's uh, it kind of sounds like people will oftentimes replace L's with R's. It's not because they can't say the R, it's just that uh, when you said Red Lobster, they heard Red Robster. Because the sound is, is so similar, you know what I mean? It's not that uh, they have an inca they're not incapable of, of pronouncing it, they just... Uh, to them, the sounds are, are the same. You know? Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay, okay. Okay. 
Oh, jeez. I'm out, dude. I'm not here no more. Please, I just, I want a win. I want a win so badly, dude. I don't think we're incapable of it, but... I will say it's going to be a, uh... It's going to be a fight here, because we got a... Uh, we do have a Flesh Pound. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's, that's kind of my uh, my rants on R's and L's. It's just the... Uh, it's kind of funny seeing people do, like, Japanese accents and stuff, and think that, uh, like, Japanese people are incapable of saying L's, which is just not the case. It's just that uh, when, when you're talking to them and you say Red Lobster, the, the, the L sound in Lobster sounds exactly... Like an R sound to them, because like their their brain equates like lobster, right? It's kind of like a mix between like R and L. You know what I mean? So whichever one you say, like it could go either way. You know, it's it's like equally the same as, as both, right? Um, I I have not killed that uh, flesh pound. I do not know where he is, and I am highly concerned. Um. See you, dude. I want you guys dead. You guys are a problem, okay? Um, yeah, it's just, it's funny seeing people do fake, uh, fake, fake Japanese accents and stuff, and they don't, uh, they don't understand why it is that, uh, and you know, not, not a, did I kill the flesh pound? Is that why it's not showing up? It had me scared that whole time, dude. And they don't understand, you know, I mean, if you're just doing a, a fake accent or whatever, you don't, you don't have to, you know, you're not going to go and research into exactly what it is if you're just doing, like, a little joke around kind of thing. Like, you're not going to do that, but, um, it's, uh, it's always funny seeing, it's also kind of funny seeing people do, like, because, uh, like, once you have worked on your voice, once you have actually worked on it and, like, studied it and, to, to any extent, right? Like, I'm not an expert on, on voice and, 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 and all this kind of stuff, but I, I have studied it to some extent, right? I have studied it a little bit. And, um... Once I, once I know, like, the, the details of it, right? Like, I know exactly what, um... What causes my voice to sound masculine or feminine. I understand... How I should be changing it and stuff. Oh, jeez, this is like not at all what I want to have happen. Um, I understand what happens, what, what makes it happen, what makes it tick, right? Like I, I get it. And um, if you if you don't, you're not like I hate this map because I'm just like stuck on all kinds of garbage, and it's just like so dumb. This is really a bad boss to be fighting if you get stuck on stuff constantly like that. So we're just going to run for a bit and kind of worry about healing up a little bit. Don't really worry about uh, killing him. Okay, we're going to take it slow. Calm. Collected. We don't have to... It's not a race. Okay. This is, this is one boss where you're free to take pretty much as much time as you want, as long as you're Gunslinger. Uh, or Berserker, for that matter, but if you're Berserker, you can probably just get up in his face and, and murderize him with the uh, parrying and all that kind of stuff. Oh, we don't want to go that way. Um, you have to keep an eye out for that laser, but... Like, for the most part, we can we can run away as long as we don't get stuck on anything. He, uh, he can't really hurt us. So, our main goal is just to make sure that we take our time to avoid getting stuck on anything. And uh, turn around when we're safe for a moment, just to, to fire off a few shots and and get a little bit of damage dealt. We run around this way. He should come around. Um. Anyway, so uh, what was I talking about? I don't even know, dude. I know I was talking about the uh, the accents and stuff. I don't know where I was exactly at with it though. Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't have to worry about all that kind of stuff if you're just doing a fake little accent. But, oh, right, I was talking about the uh, the voice. So, as somebody who has studied the voice and, and how it works and the, the mechanics behind it, behind what makes it actually sound, either feminine or masculine or, or this or that, you know, like, I understand very minorly. Like, I haven't gone to school for it or anything like that, but I have um, 
paid for some training anyway. And uh, having done so, I have a, a better understanding than uh, a lot of people about uh, what makes the voice tick, right? And so when I hear people trying to do like female voices or something like that, I'm like, I could give you like the simplest of tips and you'd be able to make like such a massive improvement to your voice just so quickly. But like, that's not what we're here for and it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So sometimes, sometimes people are like super interested in it and they want to learn and I'm like, here, here's a couple of tips, right? Like getting to a point where your voice is better than the typical, like, hi, my name is Rachel, you know, like better than that. Not hard, right? Like, it's super, super not not complicated at all. There's... How on earth done, finally? Super, super not complicated at all. But, um... Getting to the point where you are, like, done... Is. Right? So we'll go ahead and switch over here. Black Forest. How on earth? Completed. That's what I'm talking about. So this is actually... We're gonna actually... I'm just gonna go ahead and copy. Uh, I can't really do that, eh? We'll add a note. We'll add a note right here. Hard or higher, hard or higher. And I'll have to add that into the uh, the proper thing as well. Um, so we don't actually have to do hard for these ones. We'll just do hell on earth for both of them and then uh, call it a day, probably. Uh, catacombs we got to do and like anyway, there's lots of, lots of stuff to do left, but um, here's the uh, here's the stats. Um, it's always funny seeing that because I get to see like the, the mistakes that they're making and I get to, to understand the differences on it. It doesn't matter, right? Like they're just having fun. It's It's... Not hurting nobody for them to be doing it wrong, you know. So it's in good faith and stuff. Like you can you can do racist accents and stuff, but um, it's always fun knowing more about something and then seeing people do it and being like, knowing knowing what they could do to make it better, and then you know not being a smart butt and and making a, a mess of it all. We have to be back on Black Forest because I have to take a picture. Um, not being a smart butt and making a, a big deal out of it because it doesn't matter, right? But it is, it is fun being in the position of, uh, of knowing what they're doing wrong and being able to see it clearly and, and be like, yeah, you know, I understand. I always find it fun, personally. Because I, I play D&D &D and stuff. Or, like, whatever, dude. We're, we're, we're going for it here, okay? Nope, that's not the right button. Um, that one. And then that one. And then ghost and suicide. Nope, not. <laughs> Fly. And uh, we'll switch over here. We'll go ahead and hit H. Look at that. Now we can fly around and stuff. Oh, we have to do ghost. You have to do fly first. Otherwise, you can't actually go through this stuff. Anyway, um, it's always fun for me to see that. I think it's cool. I personally think it's pretty fun. Um, and I uh, I understand some intricacies of... Uh, I just wish there was no fog. You know, is there a command to disable fog? Hold up. Let's, let's check this out. I cannot show you this. Okay, have to command disable fog. Show fog. Show fog. No? That one's not it. That one's not it, dude. not it man it's not doing it fog density equals zero ha 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 look at that dude I figured that one out on my own I did that one ha 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 Heck yeah, dude. This map actually looks pretty cool without all of that dang fog everywhere. So where do you think we should take the picture here? Look at that sky box. Look at that mountain box. <laughs> Look at the cave. Oh yeah, it's showing up. It's showing up. Can I delete trees and stuff? <laughs> I kind of like this almost, you know? Cause my my character goes down at the bottom right. We got some stuff on the top left. Could do something a little like that. Nah, it's not super great. Maybe get down a little bit farther. Maybe let's go fog density equals 0 0.4. 500. Five 
fog density equal one. Uh, I can't, I can't uh, add fog, so we'll just kind of go like this. Boom, screenshot. Anyway, I figured out the fog density all on my own, dude. I, I don't know how to make it work, so... But I, I did that, okay? That was me thinking logically as a programmer. How would I, how would I do this? And I typed fog, and fog density came up, and I was like, this is it. This is going to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like it if you want to do all that kind of stuff. You know, it's all good stuff. It helps me. I know that, uh, you know, th did you know that 30%? I'm kidding. I don't care. You'll ever get those uh, those YouTubers who are like, 30% of you guys aren't subscribed. It's very weird. Why would you do this? I don't know. They just don't want to subscribe. Too lazy to subscribe. You know, who cares? <laughs> I'm not subscribed to people I watch on YouTube every now and then. I try to be, but sometimes I'm like, I don't want your stuff in my sub box. I just want to watch your videos every now and then. <laughs> Which, when you have, like, as many videos as I do, it's probably a fairly common problem for my viewers. But. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna go get ready for the stream in 20 minutes. Y'all come watch. Because there's a stream in... Six hours for you guys. Two o'clock today, I'll be streaming some Death's Gambit, I think. Right? Yeah? 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 Two o'clock today for you guys. Death's Gambit. Let's go. Hey, what up? Bye.